Yeah, obviously a tough night shooting the ball. Um, it's going to happen. It's basketball. Um, one of those nights overall, like I didn't feel like I played bad. I felt as a group, we really struggled to make shots that we had been making really since the start of the second half. And sometimes that's basketball. Um, I mean, they're a great defensive team. You know, they're going to be physical with me. They're strong. Um, so that can kind of wear you down through the process of the game. Um, I mean, obviously, I played 37 minutes and I subbed myself out right there in the first quarter except for the, that little break. So uh, probably would have gone all 40 again, too. So I think just, you know, prepare the best I can come going forward with the day in between. You really got to take time for your body. Um, but yeah, I mean, definitely one of those nights shooting the ball. Um, but then again, it's basketball happens to everybody. So Alexa and Tony. Kaylin, uh, Kelsey was in here and brought up maybe that this wasn't the best night discipline-wise for this group. I um, was just curious if you thought that was an issue out there and that's something maybe you guys have been better at in the second half and maybe just was a step in another direction. Yeah, I think we could have definitely been better. Um, obviously, you're going to say that after you lose. Um, but at the same time, like our goal is to hold people under 84 points and we held them to 86. Like, And they got a lot of offensive firepower. So. Um, but at the same time, I felt like they missed some shots that they usually make as well. Um, so you have to give them a little, a little leeway there too. So I think there's definitely things that we can go back and look at and clean up and prepare for, um, you know, Friday when we play again. But um, I think we could have, we just seemed a, a step slow on the offensive end, especially, um, and especially with the type of defense they're going to play, they're going to be physical, they're going to be in your space. Like we have to set and use screens better. Um, but defensively, I think I'm proud of our group. Like. You know, we really struggle to make shots, but we never let that affect our, affect our defense. I thought we really battled, um, you know, and they got they got some calls where they got some and ones late in the game too. So um, I'm, I'm honestly proud of, of how we did. I thought we were pretty resilient, and you know, hopefully we can shoot a little better on Friday. Go Tony and Christine. Kaylee, we've heard from a couple of you guys about using this kind of series style as a playoff launching mm -hmm. moment. And you've had some of these series styles before this year, but mm -hmm. how has your ability to adjust against what opponent changed up the season? What do you feel like you guys need to do better on Friday? Yeah, I feel like at this point in the season, like you're obviously very familiar with every single team that you're going to play. Like this is going to be our fourth time playing them. So um, I still feel like we haven't really given them the best that we have. Um, so I think Friday is a great opportunity for us to do that. Um, but yeah, it is obviously a unique experience. I don't know if we've played a team really back to back, other than maybe New York early in the year. I think we played them right away. Uh, they came, we were there, they came back here. So um, I think it's you know one of those ones you got to go back and tweak a few things that didn't work, um, add a few things that they might not be ready for. Um, but overall, like just continue to be confident in what we've been able to do since you know we really figured out our identity and who we are and um, you know figure out how to make some bunnies um, and I think just continue to be confident you know sometimes you're going to have you're not going to be as, as good as you were the other night um, but you just learn from it and move on. You know Christine and Matt. Caitlin as, as the game wore on you guys were still like seven nine mm -hmm. points you know it was it was almost doable in some way if things yeah. had gone if a three had gone or whatever could you take us into your mindset of knowing that maybe just one three or one moment, especially with this crowd yeah. right on a school night, sure. just amazing, that really could turn the tide for you. Yeah, well, I thought, the, I thought the game felt very choppy. Like, it didn't feel like there was any moments where the crowd could get into it, where we could really get into a flow. I'm not sure if that's the way it was officiated, whether it was good calls or bad calls, whatever it was. Like, it just felt like there was a lot of stoppage within the game, and sometimes that's hard to really get your team going in a flow, especially with the style of basketball that we want to play, like you really want to get up tempo and continue to play. And then obviously AB gets in foul trouble. And I thought AB obviously played really, really good defense tonight. Um, uh, but I mean, I think overall, um, you know, like you said, the crowd was really good. And I felt like even though it was seven points or eight points, like all we needed was one three and then another stop and we make a layup and who knows, and then it's a one possession game. But it felt like we just couldn't find the way to get over the hump like we have in the past, whether it was with Minnesota where we got back to one possession or whether it was the dream where we got back and um, eventually won the game. But it would be nice to not have to have those prayers where you're fighting to get back within one possession, especially in the fourth quarter. Yes, we're capable of it, but it would be nice to be the team with the lead um, and could try to defend that on your home court instead. And, you know, that should be our goal going into Friday. You know, Matt, I'm going to finish up with Chloe. Yeah, Caitlin, um, you guys get to see Las Vegas again on Friday. I was just curious um, how much of a challenge it is to deal with Chelsea Gray's uh, physicality on defense, especially when refs are going to you know, call those offensive fouls mm -hmm. on the arms. Yeah, I mean, 
Honestly, Chelsea didn't guard me a ton, maybe a couple times. Um, Jackie was usually the defender that was matched up on me or when Colson came in. Um, and honestly, they're all really good defenders. They're physical, they're strong. Um, <laughs> the offensive fouls are definitely surprising at times. Um, you know, I feel like I do get held and get quite a bit of contact throughout the games. And then you get hit with some of those when you take some contact and give contact back. Um, it is what it is. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Like, apparently they see something different and then we have to use our challenge to try to not have let AB have a fifth foul in the third quarter that basically takes her out of the game. We lose a challenge. We lose a timeout. So that's tough as well. Um, but I mean, they're going to be visible. They're going to do it again. It worked. Um, but that's what I should expect at this point. That's kind of what every team does. Um, I think I can use my quickness a little bit better, um, absorb a little more contact, set up cuts a little bit better. I thought overall I got a little bit tired and wasn't moving as, as fast tonight. So uh, definitely will be a focus point on Friday. Chloe, last one. Yeah, you mentioned, you know, you weren't able to get into a flow. Did Lexi kind of getting in foul trouble in the first half? And obviously you mentioned AB, did that mm -hmm. just all affect it as well? Yeah, I mean, you never want people in your team getting in foul trouble, but at the same time, like, it's just next man up. You put people in the game and, you know, you just keep moving on. And honestly, I thought we did a pretty good job of that. And like I said, I'm proud of our group. Like we still, we battled, like we really did. Like we, we got some stops on defense. Um, you know, we were pretty resilient in that regard. I thought we rebounded really well as well. Um, I thought Tammy was great on the board. So I thought she was really good on defense. Um, but I think, you know, like I said, you just got to go back and learn from it. Um, I think we can always do a better, a little bit better job of like, I feel like we're there and we're in good position. It's just like we're not keeping our verticality at times. And they're going to call that any time, whether you touch it or not. And it's not something you can really go back and rule because, or in review because if you're not vertical, they're still going to give you the foul. So um, I think just, you know, we're playing good defense. It's just continuing to play it out through the entire possession. All right.